Hey everybody, what's going on? I have a comparison here between the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the Nokia Lumia 928. It's a Windows phone. This is with the Verizon Wireless. First, I want to thank uh, Verizon for giving me the opportunity to test uh, this device and just keep in mind that everything I say is just my opinion. So let's go ahead and start with the specs. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open different applications. So here's the phone uh, application. As you can see, you get that 3D effect with both phones. Here's the keypad with the Nokia and I'm using a, an application for the dialer with the uh, Samsung. So here's the text message and this is how it looks like right here with the Nokia. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the email. I don't think I have any email set up with the Nokia, but just to show you the transition and the access right there. So as you guys can see, uh, the Launcher 8 application on the Android phone, it mimics, it duplicates the behavior like really, really good. It's almost the same than a, than a Windows phone. Let's go ahead and access the browser. And um, this site or website here is loaded with a lot of galleries. So let's go ahead and do a zoom in and zoom out. As you can see, both phones are pretty, pretty fast. Really responsive with the zoom in and zoom out. Um, so that's as far as the browser there. Uh, let's go ahead and open a page just to test uh, the performance and see which phone opens the page uh, faster uh, let's do a new tab let's do here CNN uh, here we go alright so that's uh, CNN Go ahead and take a look at something else. All right, so here we have uh, the contacts. So as you guys can see, uh, both phones are updating live all the pictures from the contacts that are stored in your phone. Uh, if we go to the contacts, that's how it looks like. So that's as, as far as the contacts. Um, Let's uh, take a look at Facebook. Uh, I don't have Facebook here as a part of tiles on the Nokia, but we can access it from, from here, from the all the apps. The Facebook application on the Android phone, it's uh, the, uh, the application for Android. Of course, this is the one that you, you download from the Windows Store, uh, but you know, pretty much is the same. Uh, let's see if we can do zoom in and zoom out to some picture here. Let's uh, try this picture here. Responsive. Uh, let's open this one. Responsive as well. So that's uh, Facebook. Uh, let's take a look here. Let me show you YouTube. Uh, so this is an application that I downloaded from the Windows Market uh, with YouTube. It works pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's you sign in into your profile. You get access to the subscriptions. Um, you get here all the main things. You can look at the downloads, uploads, history, favorites. Uh, most popular here. So that's uh, YouTube. And we'll play a video for you later. Here's YouTube on the Android phone. And again, this is, a, of course, a... Android application for YouTube. Uh, also, as you can see here, your gallery pictures, it's updating, updating all the time, um, which is pretty cool. As I told you, you know, it, it, it's hard to tell <laughs> that, the, that the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, it's not a Windows phone because they both work the same. They look the same right now with the, with the Windows launcher installed on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, I'm not going to access my personal phone here, but if I show you here the gallery on the Nokia, that's how it looks like. You go to um, camera roll, 
and it shows you picture here and here are a couple of pictures that I took in a megapixel resolution outside pretty good quality very responsive they zoom in and zoom out here's another one and here's a sample video So that's a sample video guys as far as uh, the pictures. Uh, let's uh, take a look at something else. Here's an application for the tuning radio. And I believe I have that also installed on the Windows phone. It's right here. Um, so that's as far as the radio application. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the calculator, uh, the Play Store, and uh, let's see here. Let's look at maps uh, and navigation. So here's maps on the on the Galaxy, and this is uh, the Nokia. And let's see if we can do some um, um, navigation here. Uh, let's look here for what well, we have here, Walmart. Let's look for Walmart. Let's do this one right here. So that's uh, how the navigation looks like and works with the Nokia. Uh, here on the Note, let's do the same thing, Walmart. Actually, we don't want directions, we want to navigate. Head east on Comstock Avenue towards South 35th Street. So that's as far as the navigation on both phones. Uh, now let's look at something So I'm going to show you now, guys, uh, the camera interface on the Nokia Lumia. Uh, let's see here. Here's the camera. So that's uh, the camera interface. Uh, you can take the picture with, with this uh, dedicated uh, camera button right here. It takes uh, pretty good pictures. I believe you can also tap the screen right there. As far as the video, you can click right here. And then to start the video, you can click right here. I don't think you, you get any zoom in or zoom out. No. Um, then you can also touch the screen to start or to stop the video. Uh, let's see if you can do the flash. Yeah, you can do flash uh, when you're doing a recording right there. And then here you get access to some of the settings uh, for photo settings and video settings. So that's as far as the camera. Here's the front facing camera now. Let's see if we can access it. So there's the front facing camera, pretty quick too. Let's look at something else. All right guys, so as far as performance and uh, how to access everything, it's pretty much this, that's that's the same, you know, it's, it's all the same. Um, it's the same concept, um, you know, basically it, you're able to customize all the applications on your home screen. And the way to do it is you hard press the application like this. And then uh, basically from this point, if you click on the, actually well, on, here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, if you click on the little pen right there, you can edit. If you click on the on pin, you can uh, delete it or remove it from your home screen. And then you can resize it too with the arrow. 
same thing here. Uh, I don't think you can edit the the phone application. That's why it's not showing that. Let's click on something else. Let's see here uh, this one. Um, no, looks like you can only uh, delete it or resize it. So it appears that the actual Windows 8 launcher installed on the Android phone offers more customization than the actual Windows 8 phone. Um, other than that, guys, like if you go here to your uh, right, where you have all the applications, basically uh, just a hard press something, let's say uh, calculator. So it's going to give you the option to pin to start. Let's see what options we get here with the with the phone with the Android. Um, add tiles so you can add it to the tiles, or that's basically what you can do. Uh, so that's how it works. Basically, you go to your applications, whatever you want to add to your main screen, you click on it and then you add it. Uh, same thing, you know, if you wanna if you are on the main screen and you want to remove something, just hard press it. And you can remove it, you can resize it, and you can edit it. Uh, maybe, I believe with the, with this uh, launcher, you can change the color. As you can see here, I changed the color of the, of the, um, uh, some of the tiles. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, that was my comparison here between the launcher 8 uh, installed on an Android phone. And a real Windows phone, as you can you can see, uh, you know the launcher. It's absolutely amazing because it really, really works uh, just like a Windows 8 phone. Uh, so, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you later, guys. Before I let you go, one more time here. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, 1080p video from YouTube. And uh, here is uh, on the Nokia Lumia. Let's start with the Nokia Lumia. Let's open also the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, let's go ahead and go to my channel. So let's see if we can play something here. Let's do the same video here. Let's start with this one here. And you can change here the, the resolution. As you can see, let's click on a high definition. That's a really nice looking BMW, man. Thanks, man. All right, so that was a 1080p video playing with the Nokia uh, Lumia and as you guys saw I was able to fast forward the video without any buffering or anything like that here is on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 what year is this one now? 2007 2006 can we take a look inside? quick alright I think that's all I have for now guys uh, again thanks for watching subscribe see you later